Hey mates, uh, Chris over Dixieland Farm and today I finally uh, broke down, treated myself. I've been waiting for this uh, to be the right time to buy this. And what is this? Well, we're going to do a fancy unboxing. It's really just an unbagging, isn't it? But uh, when I need a pair of scissors, I could have done this beforehand, but uh, I've decided to do it live. We'll do it live! What is this thing? Well, this little device. is a radio. It's a USB radio. What are you talking about? Well, <laughs> some of you know I'm an amateur radio operator and for years uh, software defined radio was expensive and what that is is instead of using hardware to receive and decode signals you used software and we're at the point now where the technology and computing power is so cheap that this radio, which would have cost thousands, literally thousands of dollars uh, back when I originally bought my HF gear, my ham radio gear, this cost $20, $20. And with it, I'm able to receive basically all frequencies on my computer as long as I have a proper antenna hookup. Why do I need this if I've already got a radio? Well, the interesting thing is the old way of listening to shortwave radio is you would turn the dial and you would hear a signal and you would tune it in and you would listen and then you'd go, I'm interested in this or I'm not interested in this with software radio. What you're able to do with this little extra adapter that I had to buy is for a good spectrum of radio you can see all the different stations that are on at once. And you take your mouse and you go, I want to hear that one, that one, that one, that one. And you can listen to them. Now, Further, I found out that there is a way for the software for receiving to control my radio. So I can look at all the different radio stations that are out broadcast or transmitting, click on it, and it will then tune my radio to that frequency. So if I hear somebody who wants to talk, I can look, click, listen, and then grab my radio and talk. So that thousands of dollars of radio equipment is now not necessary, replaced by $20 and $4 to hook up. The only piece I'm missing is, so I do not have to have two antennas is a switching box between my radio setup and this listening radio. However, that part is coming in the mail, should be here tomorrow or the next day, but I'm excited to just see, does this thing even work? So I'm going to play with it right now. DH1 Tango Tango, Delta Hotel 1 Tango Tango, CQDX. So we can see from this exactly what I was hoping for. So this is the entire radio band. Right now I'm uh, selecting 20 meters. And every one of these things is a signal. So let's unmute it. Well, it's a couple days later. You can see I've got uh, my shirt is changed, and this huge box—it's—it's it's a small thing. But the other part of this is that I've actually got farm work I've got to go do. I can't really spend time on this thing. But 
because I'm excited, we're opening it up right now. The MFJ 1080 SDR. Not B or S. It's plenty BS. So again, all that, all of that for a little box. But I get it. You know, they want to make sure that it's um, not damaged. I appreciate that. I don't really have to read the instructions. It came with a, a power cable, which I don't need. It came with a RCA cable, which I do need. I used to have one for this radio setup, and I guess I threw it away during the remodel. It's kind of a shame. My manual is now online. Don't bother printing out stuff. Perfect. I'll go online. I'll hook this thing up. I will get moving. But I gotta go clean the barn first. So let me go go do that. Yeah, and I'll probably hook this thing up too. Real quick. Real quick. Oh, what is this? I, I think I explained it already in the video. So what this uh, allows me to do is hook up my radio and my software radio that we've already seen. And with the push to talk switch, anytime I transmit, what it'll do is it'll take the antenna and disconnect it from the software radio and hook up the radio, uh, the regular transmitting radio. So that way I'm not transmitting into the software radio and blowing it up. I know it's a bunch of noise right now, but so I can do more than I actually thought. I am so pleased about this. So <clears throat> what this means is that I can uh, not have to do anything. The radio is always connected, and when I transmit, it will not um, interfere with the software radio. Perfect. All I have to do is just check to make sure that the um, transmit doesn't bleed through real quick, and it's done. So happy with these new toys. This is going to be great, and uh, I'm happy with the ham shack set up now. It's nice and clean. Just a couple of wires to tuck away, and I'm done. Beautiful. Got to go. I got to go work. I got to go work. So I can't play. I got to go. Everybody, thank you so much for watching. Take care.